Alliance for Empowering Partnerships is an alliance for local, national, and international organizations that are advocating for a more just and equitable aid system. It provides a platform for information dissemination, sharing experiences, evidence, good practice, and learning. Each member leads their own advocacy at country level and, where possible, at global level they collaborate and contribute to ongoing research and debates and develop consulted and commonly agreed positions and advocacy strategies around localization, participation revolution, and transparency. We belong to and work with communities before, during, and after disasters, and we are there for the longer term. In 2016, the international aid community came together at the World Humanitarian Summit to make humanitarian aid more effective for the future. At the summit, an agreement referred to as the Grand Bargain was made. This called for more means in the hands of the people in need and reinforced the key role that local responders play. A for EP is the 63rd and U.S. signatory of the Grand Bargain. The same year, international NGOs agreed on the Charter for Change. They also committed to make changes within their organization to show the way forward by drafting an agreement on eight commitments to localization. A commitment to the seven dimensions is a good example of more equitable and complementary partnerships and will ensure implementation of localization commitments. Here, we will discuss these dimensions through seven country-specific contexts. We are based in Uganda. We work with refugees, youth, gender-based violence, and other issues. Under normal circumstances, we form a partnership that is beneficial for the affected communities. Instead of building local partnerships that is in the best interest of local communities and long-term sustainability, some international NGOs partner with national and local NGOs to form only short-term contracts. We believe good partnerships are pivotal to an effective and efficient aid response. What is good partnership? It is built on trust, risk sharing, mutual respect. It avoids competition and focuses on joint action. It is geared towards growth of local communities. It involves making decisions together and avoids blame game and focus on solving challenges. Philippines faces frequent humanitarian crises such as typhoons, volcanoes, and earthquakes. And our areas of work are poverty, education, environment, health education, disaster risk reduction, and conflict. We, along with other CSOs, are the usually first ones to respond to any humanitarian crisis in our community or area. Local organizations are first respondents. They work closely with the community. They want control and decision-making power and have more say. They want transparency regarding funds and the response. They want to voice concern and receive a response. Northeast Nigeria faces a lot of conflict and our areas of work are gender equity, gender-based violence, economic activities for women and girls in conflict-affected communities. Funds are being raised in the name of affected population, so we should have full transparency and accountability of how the funds are being spent. Local organizations lack the finance and resources needed to provide quality support. Not all INGOs and UN organizations often provide overhead or administrative costs. We require multi-year predictable funding to support and sustain long-term unsustainable projects. We require pooled funds for level playing field in competition with INGOs and other large national organizations. Bangladesh. 
coastal belt of Bangladesh is facing frequent humanitarian crises. Rohingya refugee crisis, cyclones and flooding are the most. To respond to the community and people affected by crisis, areas of work would be economic empowerment, human rights, gender equity, gender-based violence, and awareness through community radio. We have the capacity that is unvalued. Humanitarian sectors need to redefine capacity, capacity development, and capacity convergence. Need to analyze unique capacity of each other that we can bring to the table. More focus should be on timely response and meeting the needs of the community. Capacity of local organizations must be valued as they are familiar with the local requirements and limitations. They know how to negotiate in difficult circumstances. Partners should support institutional capacity rather than one of top-down training that are not contextualized. There should be more focus on South-to-South -South exchange, sharing, learning and support. Jordan. The primary humanitarian activities in Jordan are related to hosting refugees, most recently Syrian refugees. Civil society actors have identified and worked on four key areas, economic empowerment, social safety nets, gender equity, and gender-based violence. To unify and lead local humanitarian efforts, we have created a network of local and national organizations called JONAF. JONAF and other local actors have been successful in coordinating and implementing projects at the community level. And as such, we should be represented in the different levels of coordination mechanisms. Often, coordination is happening at the capital level, when implementation is at the local and regional levels. Smaller local organizations generally do not have the resources nor the staff to devote time to coordination meetings. And when they do have capable staff, they are hired away by international agencies. Moreover, coordination meetings are conducted in English, which can hinder participation from local actors. As a result of all these factors, Big national NGOs frequently dominate the space and the smaller CBOs do not get the space at the table. Local organizations should be present in and co-lead all important decision-making forums and international organizations should provide them the resources to maintain their capacity to do so. Their views must be taken into account during decision-making processes. We work in northeast part of India where the region faces frequent humanitarian crises caused by disasters like floods, earthquake, river erosion, landslide and conflict. Our areas of works are humanitarian response and advocacy, disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, human rights and sustainable development. We are the first responders in the community but we do not get the public recognition for our work. Our partners should ensure that our efforts are being recognized in the areas of needs assessment, proposal, reporting to donors and public. Our name and logo should be present in social media and other reports for better visibility which build trust and credibility. Our name and logo should also be visible on websites along with our local and international projects that are being executed. Often we have no visibility about how our project information is being used and projected. South Sudan faced frequent humanitarian crisis, natural disasters, conflicts, and flooding. Our areas of work is poverty reduction, gender-based violence, health education, humanitarian provisions. We work in conflict-affected areas of South Sudan where our staff often face issues of security and violence. Local actors, including women-led organizations, need to be part of standard setting and policy discussion at local, regional, national, and international levels. As they can contribute to realistic policy making, they should be given more seats in international policy forums such as IASC, Grand Bagain, and others. Local organizations often bear witness to operational shortcomings of the response and contribute to contextual reality. 
Recently, we have seen an alarming trend of international agencies registering at national level and taking up space of local civil society. We demand that international actors show solidarity by complementing and reinforcing local actors rather than bypassing and replacing them by implementing directly. We ask donor and international agencies to show real commitment to decolonization of aid. We know that not enough local voices are included in the decision making and the governance of the grand bargain. It is essential that we work together to ensure our voices are heard. The commitments of the Grand Bargain and Charter for Change are more institutionalized at country level and are tracked for more accountability.